ما هي معانا يا دكتور ما هي معانا دلوقتي اه ما هي معانا دلوقتي على ال هو سامعني احنا الشاشه كلها مش باينه ليه يا رهشان احنا دلوقتي مشارك معانا في الرد على احنا دلوقتي باينه لايف على الفيسبوك وابتدى التسجيل اتفضل اهو اتفضل يا دكتور اوكي اوكي جود ايفنينج ايفري بودي اي اي جاست وونت تو ويلكم اول ذا كوتشز اوف كورس ويلكم هالو شريف يور our president of commission the coaches commission and uh, internet fibb instructor welcome my embrace our uh, instructor fib instructor and one of our distinguished uh, cbb and fib instructor and of course uh, tarik and hisham and all the, the the distinguished coaches i hope to have a very good meeting and discussion and i hope the lecture you will like it and at the same time the discussion and the inter exchange of views will be very good so good luck everybody and uh, this is the best way to change experience and i know that you all of you will be surrounded by expert and uh, very good experience coaches so good luck and uh, i hope that it will be fruitful all the time this is to qualify you to have your own lectures in the zones and in your national federation and this is what we promise for so good luck everybody good luck sharif good luck mayam good luck tarik good luck hisham thank you thank you thank you mr president oh, can i can i see all the screen or separate how to make it full Okay, Doctor Amr. The screen, I mean, I I want to see everybody. How come? Well, it's not not this time. Not the yes. Oh. Okay. Thank you, Doctor Alwani. Um, uh, uh, good evening, everybody. I would like to thank Doctor Alwani and uh, the president of uh, CVB and the vice president of FVB. And I would like to thank also. Can't uh, make money, I'm trying to struggle. Well, it's a little bit. Money. In in uh, in CVB, uh, uh, the board, the uh, our um, uh, colleagues uh, uh, supporting us. I would like also to thank my brother, my big brother, uh, Ma'am, for joining me today or tonight to uh, to work together. This time in English, and uh, he will take the same opportunity later to do the same, and we open the discussion after that, and he will talk in French, and I will uh, uh, translate in English. <laughs> and today, uh, I think we will have uh, our uh, African instructors with us. And we will have this, this schedule for the, the, our webinar. We will uh, make like introduction now <clears throat> for five minutes, and then uh, we will start our uh, the main uh, uh, the main part the the, the session. Uh, the presentation will be uh, the topic will be uh, coaching volleyball. Or coaching in volleyball, and also uh, we will stop every ten minutes to give uh, around ten minutes to give Ma'am uh, the chance to 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 uh, make brief for uh, one or two minutes, very fast because the presentation is a little bit long. And after we finish in around one hour, we will start. We will open the discussion uh, for questions and answers. And then we are ready. To, to receive your questions uh, and you will give us your question uh, and you, you will appear, I mean, everybody will appear for the question. We will, uh, I mean, give the floor for the, 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 the questions, but I mean, we have to choose uh, the best questions. It's impossible to, to give everybody uh, the chance. Then we will take uh, the, the, the good questions, the, I, I hope that you uh, ask uh, a, 
a short questions, not long, because we will start from the short till we arrive to the long questions. Uh, and I hope we will, you will enjoy the, the presentation. Now I will pass the, uh, the floor to Mr. Ma'am to, to give us uh, like a brief uh, uh, introduction. Uh, and I would like to thank him for uh, joining us uh, as an experienced coach, experienced uh, instructor. And uh, on the other side is my big brother. And we are sharing all uh, activities, all uh, achievements together uh, in CVB and F in FIVB. Uh, Ma'am, please. Oui, merci beaucoup pour uh, tous ceux qui vont uh, participer à cette... Uh à cette visioconférence dans laquelle nous allons parler du coaching, du coach, les relations entre les coachs, la préparation des matchs et la participation aux différentes compétitions. Je dis merci à tout le monde et je pense que vers la fin, nous allons faire une présentation d'une heure et après, nous aurons, nous aurons euh, les questions. Je voudrais que cette question soit des questions un peu plus rapides, un peu plus courtes, pour que nous ayons le temps d'y répondre. Je vous dis merci et nous allons commencer notre présentation. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay. You can go ahead, Sherry. Okay, my brother. I think uh, everybody, is, uh, you can see the, the, the presentation now. It's okay? Yes. Okay. Then today we will talk about coaching. And uh, I know that everybody uh, believes that the coach is the heart of the, the organization of volleyball. And the role of the coach is very important. And because he is leading and uh, the organization, the, the team, the club, uh, in, in, in his uh, uh, good way, I mean, in technical part, and also uh, has uh, influence in other parts like uh, uh, management or administration and leading all the organization to uh, arrive to the, 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 the important uh, uh, objective is to win or to, to do a good performance and to build the team in the right way. I have come to the frightening conclusion. We will watch one video important uh, to see the role of the coach and for one of the big coaches, or some of the big coaches. I have come to the frightening Just a second, please. I will. I'm open the video. Ma'am, can you see the video now? Ma'am. Yes. Can you see the video, please? But I don't have the video here. I have the the screen with all your faces. Champ. Captain Schiffmeier. 
الفيديو برضو مش عايز يفتح انت انت تفتح الفيديو الاول في في الباك تفتحه بعد كده تعمل شير سكرين تاني وتصور على الفيديو هتعمل شير سكرين تاني حاضر عايز يفتح عشان برضه الفيديو مفتوح؟ اه مفتوح طيب هتعمل شير اعمل شير هتلاقي كذا سكرين مفتوحة قدامك من اللي هم اللي فوق شاور على الفيديو بس واعمل عليه ان انا هشير اللي سيزي. ايوه افتحه هتخليه مفتوح وتعمل له بوز مفتوح دلوقتي اوكي ميك اجين شير سكرين بالظبط خالص ليتس جو نو بروب Do you want to put the impact of coaches yes. on the screen? No problem. Don't open the presentation. Don't open any thing that you are going to do. Okay. 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 Let's go. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, then we have a different type of coaches. Uh, you can see now some of them, uh, like Sparrow from USA. He is a very calm coach. And now we are talking about the top level coaches. Uh, uh, And Glenn Hogg, one of the coaches who is working very hard before the, the matches. And also, he is very calm during uh, leading his team. And we have Henan from uh, uh, the coach of Poland. And he's one of the coaches uh, using the, the mental and collecting the team, especially when we have Uh, uh, a big matches. He prepared the team very well to uh, to win the, the top level matches. And on the other side, we have here Balzato for Brazil. He is like the father of the team, and he is using a very good stuff during his work. Now we have a lot of types of coaches. On the other side, we have some other coaches uh, like uh, Giovanni Gudetti one of the young, active, and smart coaches. He has a very good relation with everybody, with players and others. And we have from the past, Carpo, who was, I mean, screaming for his players and very, very, uh, I mean, nervous every time. It's a, a, a lot of characters of coaches. And now we will talk about team building. And when we are active team building, we have to listen for the, some top level coaches. Like Doug Bill, when he said that team building is harder than you think, takes longer than you think. Because the, the, if you would like to build a team, it's, it's not an easy, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, mission. It's, it's very difficult because you will need a lot of players and also you have to contact and to lead uh, a, a, a big number of staff, and you have to deal with uh, the, the families of players, you have to deal with the organization, the officials, and also uh, spectators and media and so on. And Mr. Joe Alberta from Netherlands said that program is more important than team. And team is more important than player. Then we have to think about, first of all, to, to put a program and to start to build our team, and then to think about the players 
which they uh, proceed and uh, provide and to play through the team and in, inside the team through the program. So you from China talk about, I'm aware that I'm under huge responsibility to turn the situation around because the coach first question to himself that where I am and he will understand that he is very important and he has a, a, a big role to, uh, to, to, I mean, to lead or, or to, to do the huge responsibility to turn the situation around. The coaching process, we have to prepare the coach to have a good knowledge and he must be, I mean, uh, 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 a good level in the, the knowledge of volleyball and uh, the management and so on and go after that in a good must have a good communication with everybody around him or all uh, uh, facilities and all organizations and so on and then observation we have to observe what he uh, uh, what activities around him uh, what is the result of preparation what is the result of communication and so on then return after that to prepare himself again to get more knowledge maybe sometimes to to add more information about the matches who will uh, which will play in the next period and then go again to communication and and make the 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 observation and come again to the same sort okay ma'am can you please okay yes. okay euh, il est important ici de savoir que euh, le coach a un rôle très important dans l'organisation d'une équipe. Aujourd'hui, on intègre les facteurs managériaux, euh, administratifs et l'organisation. Euh, construire une équipe, euh, le but étant ici de construire une équipe dans le meilleur sens. Et tout à l'heure, il nous a montré un ensemble d'entraîneurs qui ont des styles totalement différents. Certains mettent un accent particulier sur, euh, là où nous parlons des entraîneurs de haut niveau, ils mettent un accent particulier sur le mental, sur euh, le collectif de l'équipe. Euh, nous avons certains qui sont comme des pères pour, chaque, pour, euh, pour les, les équipes. Et euh, à la fin, il a parlé de la construction de l'équipe qui intègre beaucoup de choses. Pour Doug Bill, construire une équipe est la chose la plus importante. Euh, en intégrant tous les autres facteurs capables de, de permettre la performance de l'équipe. Job, Job Abed, à lui, pense que le programme est très important pour une équipe et que l'équipe est plus importante que le joueur. Pendant que euh, You, lui, pense qu'il euh, est important pour lui de trouver le rôle qu'il doit jouer dans la responsabilité de gérer la, la situation. Et il est revenu sur ce qu'il a appelé euh, le coaching process, c'est-à-dire que le processus d'entraîneur qui veut que nous ayons euh, une situation cyclique entre la connaissance, la communication et l'observation, et après, on reprend la connaissance. Ça veut dire que nous sommes dans un cadre de permanente remise en cause des activités que nous menons au cours de notre euh, fonction d'entraîneur. OK. Thank you, ma'am. The next slide will be the coach and assistant coach. Uh, the role and difference between the head coach and the assistant coach. And I think if we find a good way to, uh, to work together, I think the team uh, will have a good leadership to achieve and to arrive to the, the objective. Responsibilities of the head coach The head coach be responsible for recruiting, training, and preparing the, the volleyball team for potential placement on their target organizations and tournaments. The responsibilities of the head coach first is to prepare the team for international and domestic matches. Second, to recruit athletes for the team. Third, to evaluate and place athletes on the team. 
forced to organize and collaborate with all staff, assistant coach, uh, physical preparator, statistician, and etc. Five, to provide clinics and training to potential athletes. Six, to maintain expressive and res res uh, re respected in sign communication skill throughout the tour. The role of the assistant coach, the important role is to work with the head coach in position to be defined by the head coach. I mean, he is helping the head coach in everything. The assistant coach shall be expected to commit to the general expectation as outlined below. What is the expectation, the general expectation? The, the general expectation are as follows, to assist the head coach on preparation of the team or, or the teams for internationals and domestic matches, to assist head coach on recruiting of at least athletes, to participate with head coach on evaluation and placement of athletes on the national volleyball team, to work with the head coach on clinics and training to potential athletes. Then the final conclusion is the head coach is the boss, the boss of the organization, of the technical part of the organization, and also leading the other part of administration belong to the technical part. Assistant coach should help in all things. Head coach is responsible for the reason. Assistant coach helps to make reason. And from my point of view, I think also he has a part from responsibility, but of course, under the leadership of the head coach. Head coach make the plan. Assistant coach implement the plan. Coaching staff work together. The team increase the chance to win. Okay. Preparation for competition, we will start after ma'am give us a preview. Voilà, il est important ici de relever que nous allons faire Nous allons trouver le rôle et les différences en, et la les différences entre l'entraîneur principal et son assistant. Ici, les responsabilités de l'entraîneur principal sont connues. Il est responsable de, du recrutement, de l'entraînement, de la préparation de l'équipe et euh, du potentiel de, 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 de l'organisation et même du, de, de, du tournoi. Il prépare son équipe pour la participation aux compétitions internationales et même euh, les compétitions nationales, il recrute les athlètes, il évalue, euh, il organise et collabore avec tout le staff, particulièrement l'entraîneur adjoint, le préparateur physique et la, 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 le, le statisticien, et euh, il maintient une, une, communication entre, une, une communication fluide entre tous les membres. Pour le, la, la, le coach assistant, quand vous regardez très bien, il vient pour assister l'entraîneur le, principal et participer avec l'entraîneur principal à l'évaluation globale de, euh, de tout le, le travail qu'ils ont fait avec euh, l'entraînement le, et tout le reste. Donc, pour, être, pour donner une conclusion, l'entraîneur principal est le boss, l'assistant doit aider l'entraîneur principal sur toutes les choses. L'entraîneur principal est responsable des résultats Son coach euh, adjoint est, euh, aide pour euh, faire les résultats. L'entraîneur principal fait le plan de jeu, euh, le, les, les différents plans, la, la planification en général. L'assistant doit exécuter cette planification. Voilà. OK. Preparation for competition. We have in the beginning to, to put the, the, the goal, I mean goal setting make analysis for own team's possibilities, scouting, 
analysis for opponents, performance, study conditions and environment of the competition, preparation of uh, by staff, brainstorming. We have to make the brainstorming and we talk about that. Discuss discussion in teams meeting, set realistic goals, uh, provide uh, by facts and key points. For preparation program, consider home or opponent court. Then we can go now for each uh, uh, point. Also, we have to realize and to make our tactical in, in preparation program, our tactical plan and organization. For tactical plan, propose team tactics because also you need to make uh, a good tactical plan according to the quality and the, the, the performance of and the strong points, uh, the weakest point for, for, for your players. I mean, you have to, to, to make the plan uh, according to the level of players, the experience of players, uh, the, the quality, uh, the physical quality, the, I mean, the, the, the other qualities of uh, each team you will lead. Mental preparation, also very important because uh, mental preparation, our mental part is very important for uh, to, to arrive to the, the, the important objectives, to prepare the team in the right way, and we will talk about that. Individual tactics uh, and preparation for each player, roles, tasks, key emphasize strong points, keys and emphasize strong points. And in this point, we have to, to understand that uh, when you choose your players, try to, I mean, to, this, uh, to study your players very good, to know the, the, which players is able to, be, uh, to, to do individual tactics, like when you have a good server or when you have a, a, a good reception player, and when we have a, a tall player is able to, to make effective uh, blocking, and then you can use them. And also in the individual tactics, you can uh, prepare your players to do uh, some other individual uh, tactics. I mean, like when you ask them how to make the block out, when you ask them how to, uh, uh, to I mean, if, if the setter is able to, to set the quick attacks from, uh, from a, a very difficult positions and so on. Organization, training facilities and equipments. We have to, to, to think about it very much and, and to, to, to organize every, every details, all details, because if you lose one of the details, you will lose a lot of things. The preparation for home court match, because uh, of course, in, in your home court match, you are able to, to take advantage to, to win the match. Then you have to, to be uh, very organized and to prepare everything, to think about all details about that. Arrangements for travel and budget, etc. Because you have to do that from early stage. You have to, be, to, to plan for that. You have to prepare everything. Don't let uh, anything till the end of the time and you are uh, will be under pressure and thinking about uh, the, the budget, think about all other things, then you will lose your concentration, play your players, also you will lose the concentration. That's why you have to do all the arrangements uh, for traveling and the budget from early stage. Preparation for training, practice key elements of game plan. Of course, you will have a game plan and you, you will prepare uh, a key elements then key elements according to the the needs of the team the level of the team uh, the objectives of the team the period and what we will have in the period uh, and what we need to uh, to to i mean to organize or to pre to prepare for this period players roles and special tasks as we spoke before uh, that sometimes you will have some 
uh, tactical players, and each of one of them will do uh, a special task. Sometimes you will change someone to to have a better reception or a better defense, or you 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 send or to change or make substitution for a short setter to put a, a tall uh, setter to make a good blocking or to, to, to I mean to to improve the, the the efficiency of the block and so on. Modeling opponent, this is very important to prepare also uh, for the, the the model of your opponent. That's why when you have when, when if your team will play in uh, uh, in Asia and you will you will face some Asian uh, teams, then they will be the team will be in Asia will be very fast. That's why you have to to choose or to find uh, one team. Uh, I mean modeling the your opponent same the same speed the same characteristics the characteristics and also on the other side uh, if you if your team will play in africa we have a different uh, type of of, uh, of playing then you have to find a good uh, level of those teams uh, in, uh, like african other african teams to to prepare for your uh, or modeling your opening stimulate environment and match uh, conditions like when if you will you will travel to play in africa and uh, the country will be i mean the, the environment uh, the, the temperature will be very high you have to prepare your team to play uh, in the same conditions uh, if you uh, you play in a, 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 a like a other things sometimes you will play in the world championship or world cup in japan and the, the uh, Japan is very cold. Then you have to find uh, uh, some uh, camps to prepare the team for the environment. Uh, okay, ma'am. Il, yeah, il a parlé tout à l'heure après avoir donné la conclusion finale sur uh, la, le fait que l'entraîneur est l'entraîneur en chef est le boss de l'équipe. Nous entrons dans la préparation des compétitions. Et ici, nous avons ce que nous appelons les objectifs. Analyser les possibilités de ton équipe, faire du scouting, analyse de la performance des adversaires, étudier les conditions de l'environnement de compétition, préparer votre staff avec un brainstorming sur les conditions de, de travail, faire des discussions avec des discussions dans, au cours des rencontres de l'équipe, surtout trouver, trouver Des, des objectifs qui sont réalistes pour euh, concéder et augmenter justement les points clés liés à votre à votre équipe et pour la préparation de mettre sur pied la préparation d'un programme pour la préparation du programme nous avons deux éléments nous avons pris le, le sur le plan tactique et organisationnel sur le plan tactique nous avons euh, les tactiques proposées de l'équipe nous avons la préparation mentale Nous avons des tactiques individuelles même de certains joueurs euh, en termes de chaque joueur a la capacité de faire ceci. Il faut préparer le joueur par rapport à ces, ces différentes possibilités. Après, nous avons l'organisation générale de la compétition qui euh, intègre les, les facilités d'entraînement et, et les équipements. Euh, savoir comment préparer, se mettre Dans les, les états de préparation quand nous savons que nous allons jouer à domicile et pouvoir arranger tous les autres problèmes liés à l'organisation euh, matérielle et structurelle de l'équipe avant la compétition. Maintenant, il a parlé de la préparation de l'entraînement. Il faudrait tactiquement que nous puissions mettre un accent sur la, la pratique euh, de notre euh, plan de jeu. Euh, les joueurs à qui nous allons donner quelques rôles précis, nous allons faire le modèle, le modeling, c'est-à-dire que la simulation de, du jeu de l'adversaire et tout en faisant une simulation de l'environnement et des conditions de match. Et à partir de là, il a parlé euh, de, de souligner les points forts et les points faibles de chaque équipe, euh, donner les éléments que nous considérons comme étant 
les éléments importants dans l'environnement euh, et les conditions de match. Thank you, thank you ma'am. Uh, then after that, practice key elements of game plan. You, we have to emphasize strong points of own team. I think sometimes you have uh, a good middle blockers and they are very good in, 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 in making uh, like a reading block and they are very efficient. Then you have to put uh, a good servers. When you have the good blockers, then when you put the other team under stress, uh, uh, they will uh, make the, the transition very efficient and so on. Then you have to emphasize strong points of your own team. Get confidence in key elements. Very important also that when you have a good server, that you give him the opportunity to, to enter the court and to, uh, to be, uh, uh, to, to feel that, uh, the confidence that you, you, are, you believe that he will serve very good and don't uh, uh, give him the, the impression uh, that he, he, if you lose, you will make objection and you say why you lost the serve and so on. Practice tactics, how to play particular opponent. Of course, we, we have a different type of opponents. Then every time you have to think about your opponent and you put the tactics according to the, the how to, to beat the other opponent. Sometimes you have uh, some one some teams uh, uh, had have, have a bad reception. Then you have to think a lot about your serve and your block. Sometimes you have uh, a team who is playing uh, uh, good under uh, uh, under pressure and they are not doing uh, uh, mistakes. Then you have to think about that. You have to be very careful and you have to to guide your team and to lead your team uh, to don't lose uh, more points. Uh, sometimes you have you will have another uh, kind of uh, type of teams that uh, tall teams you need to think a lot and with the good uh, blocking then you have to think about uh, a lot to how to be smart in spiking and so on. Uh, play appropriate training matches very important to to do that because it will help a lot uh, to prepare your team for the, the, the to win the the objective match. Building top sports form, uh, particular physical and uh, uh, psychological preparation uh, or physique uh, preparation. This is very important and you have to do that, uh, I hope, with, with um, experts and one uh, physical preparator if you can. Or if you don't have, you have to prepare yourself very good and to, to have one of the, the like, uh, the, I mean, the experts helping you from uh, from outside, uh, and I think also if you uh, if you can uh, uh, prepare also the team uh, in a good way in physical part, you will have a good performance on the tactical and uh, and uh, uh, I mean other uh, performance. Health care and control. Uh, this is very important point to arrive to the, the, the top four. Uh, players must eat very good uh, and they must sleep good also in, in a good time. I mean, you have to, uh, to advise them. Uh, you have also to think about how to help them uh, if they have any problems about uh, injuries or uh, physical therapy or, or anything, other things. Uh, during our period now, we have to think about uh, how to, to, to be safe and how to work with them uh, in the best way to, to make them safe and, and so on. Because if you lose one of the players about, uh, uh, for the health, health problem, you will lose uh, a, a very important part from, from your uh, I mean, uh, winning uh, possibilities. Then you have to think about that before and to keep them under uh, a big, uh, uh, I mean, uh, helping and uh, I mean, follow up. Adapt training loads uh, to actual capabilities using game like intensity, control individual performance and form, 
Then after that, we will go for preparation uh, for matches and uh, tournaments. We have to run a little bit, ma'am, sorry. Preparation for uh, tournaments or for matches and tournaments. Uh, we have to think about similar opponents and match conditions, development of uh, confidence that we have to find uh, uh, in the beginning some good teams that the, the, our team will be able to, to beat them or to win. Then we go for a difficult stage, then to arrive till the end of, we play in, a, uh, uh, in front of one of the very, very difficult teams. And I hope at, at the end, you have to find one or two matches uh, that your team can win and to get the confidence to enter the tournament or the competition with a good uh, uh, spirit to win. Practice, test and improve game plan. You have to practice very well and to put uh, a good tests and improve your game plan according to the, the level of your players. Teams meeting before the match, we will talk about that. Last training before the match. Similar opponent, we talk about that play opponent uh, of same level, similar style of play, practice under similar conditions, facilities, schedule, living, regime, conditions, climate, according uh, uh, accommodation and nutrition and so on. Development of confidence, increasing level of openness, more winning than losing, uh, realistic goals, no disaster, positive evaluation, very important that we have to put realistic goals. We, we, if if our, one of the, the African teams uh, will play in, in World Cup, of course they are not going to yeah, to, to win the, the, the World Cup, but they have to put a realistic goal that they have to pass to win three, four matches and, and go after that. If Brazil uh, will go to the, the Olympics uh, or the World Cup, they, they, they have a re the, realistic, the realistic goal is to win the competition. At least they have to be one of the, the three uh, 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 first three positions. Okay, then we have to be uh, uh, very realistic. Also, if we lose one match, no disaster. We have to collect the team. We have to, to keep moving forward and to be positive and, and to make the positive evaluation and to have to think about positive things, not only the, the negative things. Also, always we have to be very positive. By the way, this photo, uh, express a lot after you prepare a good uh, a preparation and to and and after you make a very good development of confidence of one team like army team when i was leading them and in the beginning they were uh, a good team but they don't have uh, uh, the, the real objective uh, and they don't believe that they will win any competition they believe that they are second or third every time and we started with them to, to, to change them, to go to be always positive and to believe and to focus. And then at the end, they believe because they work very hard and we work with them to, to change that. Uh, okay, ma'am. Ma'am. I'm ready. Okay, ma'am. Hey, nous avons Let's... parlé tout à l'heure des éléments d'un plan de jeu. Euh, nous avons dit et clairement qu'il faut souligner les points forts de notre équipe. Nous devons rester euh, très, très concentrés et confiants euh, aux éléments clés avec euh, généralement la possibilité de faire, euh, de développer de la confiance auprès de, de nos joueurs avec un jeu approprié pendant la situation d'entraînement. Maintenant, il faut, euh, après ça, il faut construire euh, notre équipe du point de vue euh, physique et psychique, du point de vue de, euh, de la santé et euh, du contrôle, surtout adapter les charges d'entraînement aux capacités actuelles de nos joueurs en utilisant justement l'intensité des, euh, des, des jeux, euh, l'intensité 
des situations de jeu telles que nous le voyons généralement sur le, le terrain. Et pour la préparation des matchs et euh, du tournoi, nous avons dit que nous, faisons, euh, nous prenons des adversaires similaires et nous créons des conditions de match. Nous essayons de développer justement la confiance auprès de notre équipe et nous faisons des tests pour faire progresser notre équipe petit à petit. Il est aussi important de faire euh, des rencontres, euh, des rencontres d'avant-match pour pouvoir euh, savoir ce qu'il y a à faire pendant le match et surtout la dernière séance d'entraînement d'avant-match. Il a parlé euh, de euh, la situation qui concerne le développement justement de cette, de cette euh, confiance en pensant que nous devons élever euh, le, le niveau de, de nos joueurs, mais il faut rester, il faut rester euh, réaliste. C'est-à-dire, et il a pris l'exemple, l'Afrique qui part au, au championnat du monde aura pour tendance de vouloir gagner un ou deux matchs ou trois matchs, alors que le Brésil qui va au championnat du monde aura tendance à, vous, à partir pour gagner. Donc, faisons tout pour avoir des objectifs et des buts réalistes et qui ne, poussent pas, qui ne nous poussent pas à la, au, au désastre. Et c'est ça qu'il a dit, toujours rester positif quand on a une équipe de bonne foi. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, then, after that, practice, tests, and improve game plan, we have to focus on key elements, strong points, and individual tasks. Uh, we have also to establish a procedure of match preparation. Uh, we are talking about establishing ritual. I mean, uh, what we are going to do through the match if we face some uh, problems, if we find that the other team is playing in this uh, uh, tactical way, we have to, to, to make our, uh, what we are going to do about the institutions and uh, how to play in front of, uh, if, it, if they change the tactical plan or, sen uh, or something like this. Perhaps coaching as during the match, also very important that the coach, during the, 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 the I mean, the training uh, period, uh, and when he is playing with the team, the, the, the preparation matches to uh, practice the, the coaching. I mean, how to deal with referee, with referees, substitutions, timeouts, and etc. Uh, teams meeting before the match, when? Uh, day before, morning before, just before the match. Of course, I believe that day before, or morning before, it, it will be better than just before the match. Uh, I think the team always needs time to digest the information, to, to make, I mean, uh, to, to feel and to understand and to, to be ready to, to I mean, to, to, to start to play uh, the, and using the information. Then I, I prefer that give uh, in, uh, enough period for the team before the match. Then we have to make the, the, the meeting day before or morning before. And morning before is better than if we have around six to eight hours before it will be better. And I don't like that just before the match because it will disturb the team, especially in the beginning of the match. Where? Uh, closed, calm place, no dis uh, distraction. Who, who is able to, to participate, the staff and players only, no spectators, no, I hope, I, I prefer, no officials, but sometimes you are obliged to, uh, to, to receive them. Maybe if you, if you are obliged, if, if they, are, they, they will come, uh, ask them, don't talk about technical parts, just to say some supportive, uh, uh, I mean, words, and don't uh, disturb the players to concentrate and focus. What? Repeat keys of game plan, alternatives, players' tasks, starting six possible substitutions, organization, and try to be uh, uh, as as uh, I mean short as as long as you as you're able to do that uh, uh, as much as you can. And, and I think if you if you make it 
I mean, in uh, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, it will be uh, perfect. How short, precise, uh, convincing, motivating, positive. Last training before the match, when? Day before or morning before the match, where? The match, the match playground, if possible, or other. What? Repeat key elements as serving, passing, uh, training games, physical and mental simulation. How? Ritual will be 70 to 80% of normal load, uh, concentrated by with fun, but with fun, and get adapted with facilities, balls, and conditions. <clears throat> and I prefer also uh, to reduce uh, or to, I mean, to secure your efforts. I mean, to, to work for one hour enough and let your prayers be ready to, to to give the maximum in the next day or the next uh, uh, in the match. I mean, in the real match. Oui, euh, nous avons parlé tout à l'heure. Nous avons parlé tout à l'heure euh, de euh, comment augmenter un plan de jeu. Euh, quels sont les éléments pratiques dans l'augmentation du plan de jeu Il faudrait toujours rester. Euh, euh, focus sur les éléments clés, c'est-à-dire que ce que nous appelons les, les, points, les points de force de notre équipe et en donnant les tâches individuelles à certains joueurs. Il faudrait établir justement le plan de préparation du match et euh, pendant ce temps, il faudrait que nous puissions être dans les conditions d'entraîneur, euh, dans les conditions de de préparation de match avec euh, euh, les autres pour que nous puissions avoir toutes les situations possibles de remplacement de temps mort pendant et pendant pendant le match. Maintenant, il est important de savoir qu'est-ce que la rencontre avant le match. Nous allons la faire quand Un jour avant le matin de la compétition ou après ou bien juste après le match ou Est-ce qu'il faut le nous allons le faire dans un endroit fermé, un endroit calme, sans distraction, avec qui Ici, il a parlé du staff et euh, des joueurs, mais il a dit tout à l'heure qu'il peut arriver que d'autres staffs administratifs soient en, euh, intègrent l'équipe pendant justement cette, cette euh, rencontre de l'équipe avant match. Il faut leur interdire de parler technique. Et euh, avec quoi nous allons revenir sur les, les, la répétition de, de notre plan de jeu, les alternatives, le, notre 6 entrant, les possibilités de, de substitution, de remplacement et d'organisation. Comment nous allons le faire Il faut être bref, précis, concis, motivant et surtout positif. Maintenant, la dernière séance d'entraînement avant match, ce sera quand Un jour avant le match ou le matin ou avant le match Voilà la question qui, qui s'est posée. Et où euh, Sur le terrain de jeu ou un autre terrain euh, À quel moment euh, Avec quoi Nous devons revenir toujours sur les éléments clés, surtout dans la relation service-réception, travailler les plans de jeu et les, les, ce que nous appelons généralement Les, les gammes, les gammes d'entraînement du point de vue physique et du point de vue mental et surtout comment et il dit ceci peut se faire entre 20 et 25 minutes et après nous pourrons donner la possibilité aux joueurs de s'adapter aux situations de jeu. Thanks. Thank you, madame. Uh, Pre-match activities, uh, we will have preparation and warming up and drawing loss. For preparation, team arrives early at competition side, latest one hour before the match. I hope more than one hour, but at least one hour before. Uh, as simply in dressing room, they have to stay in the dressing room and prepare themselves and to be calm and to change uh, the, the, I mean, the, 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 to prepare for the match. 
dressing for for match. Also, we have to to make a checking of equipments, uniforms, and balls, drinks, etc., before uh, moving, and to be sure that everything is okay. Uh, coach gives short advices and pre uh, papers, a speech. I mean, during before the match, no uh, long speeches, no long meetings. And I, I mean, before the match, maybe you can talk with uh, one. With the setter today, if you receive, uh, uh, if you have a good reception, please, uh, we have to 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 to, to work uh, in the middle uh, very fast and to give uh, the chance for the middle blockers to to spark. And if you want to to make like treating like to say for one server, uh, prepare yourself because uh, you will serve today as we agreed before from five to one. I, I mean briefing some. Uh, I mean uh, paper speeches warm up use usual ritual uh, nothing new or special because some coaches or some players uh, start to i mean to make some uh, uh, i mean uh, uh, strange or different uh, way of, of uh, warm up when they so when they see a lot of spectators or when you start to to come to the match uh, and they feel uh, afraid they change something and we don't uh, we, we have to be very careful and to ask them to follow what we do what, what we are doing before coach watch watches uh, opening staff makes last arrangements players uh, get adapted to conditions uh, psychological welfare give up emotions show winning attitude and confidence, impress open officials and spectators. Find out the uh, best side to start because sometimes, especially in Africa, you will find one uh, side the, the 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 light or the the sun is affecting the the reception player or uh, and Miami is, is, is smiling now and. <laughs> Uh, also, sometimes you will uh, uh, that, that the spectators uh, of other team near from one side or, or other side. This is very important to find out uh, the best side to start. Growing lots, consider advantage and disadvantage or ball or side. Don't show disappointment when you have uh, anything uh, unusual or you don't like. Like when you want to start the serve or the reception and you find that the other team take the reception. Uh, give the confidence of your team, of your player when he informing you. Uh, coaching during the match. I think, I mean, the last instruction is very important because before uh, the match, you have to give some uh, uh, minutes and very important uh, recommendations and comments for the, for your players and try to be very positive. First lineup, first set is very important to 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 evaluate the other team and then to maybe you can change your uh, tactics. Uh, keys of for winning uh, and also intervals between sets. The last instructions must be very short and stress keys for starting phase. First lineup, you have to. Find sometimes to surprise some uh, ways of tactics to surprise your opponent, but must be uh, uh, very careful because uh, if you have the opportunity and the level of players is of doing that, and you prepare your team in the training session, yes, do that. But if you don't have, please be uh, very patient and and try to do that when you are ready. Start successfully strong uh, lineup very important to put the strong lineup in the beginning to control uh, the, the other team first set very important to observe game plan works coach uh, watch opponent to read their uh, strategy and strong or weak points uh, from this is the the role of assistant coach then the coach observe how game plan works and the assistant coach watch opponent to read their strategy and strong or weak points. Study own players' performance, both of you, and you have to share with each other uh, your opinion. And also, we have another tool that we will have, uh, like uh, scouting, 
from statistician scouting reports, and it will help a lot. Adapt game plan and line up to opponents uh, play uh, and actual uh, uh, form of players. Uh, find the best actual team competition composition uh, latest for second set. Uh, then when, when we have in the first set uh, a good vision, a, a good view for a good information for the other team and we have to change a little bit, we have to change uh, and find the best uh, actual team composition for the second set. I think, ma'am, we lost ma'am now, but we will continue. Keys for winning. Uh, very important to make uh, to uh, realization and adaptation of game plan. Keep or regain uh, momentum and rhythm of play. This is very important because if you are ready uh, to to make the the uh, the momentum and rhythm of play uh, uh, to to I mean to control it. I think it will be uh, very important to win the match. Uh, reinforce and maintain or improve the team. Uh, also, the consensus, uh, the consistency, the, the consistency, uh, and, uh, and fighting spirit. Very important that the team must be in a good uh, fighting spirit. And uh, and I think uh, it's very important also. Uh, to be, I mean, um, uh, normal, uh, not, uh, uh, I mean, over the, the limit or under the limit. Uh, balance it, I mean. Uh, winning attitude and confidence. It's also very important that give your uh, players uh, and your players also uh, uh, perform in the winning attitude. And to give them the impression that they, you are you have the confidence and also they have to 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 perform in a a, a confidence attitude because very important to be confident but be, very, please be careful don't let them to be overconfident because it will uh, hurt the team and the other team will take the momentum and to start to to put us under pressure that's why I mean to have to be uh, controlled. Disturb or break opponents, uh, game strategy, and more. Respect referees' decisions. Very important to respect referees' decisions because if you are, I mean, uh, doing some uh, objections and talk to the referee every time, your player will start to follow you and also maybe your staff. And that's why you have to be very, very, uh, I mean, uh, uh, patient. You have to, maybe if you would like to, to, to make objection, must be in a polite way, uh, maybe like this, uh, please don't talk, don't put them under shouting uh, way of, of uh, or, or, or uh, saying any bad words because uh, maybe you will get a card. Uh, also, try to control your players. Try to 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 go through the the, the, the rules. I mean, your captain can go to the the, the referee to ask him about his um, uh, his decision or something like this. Okay. Don't lose temper and remain cool even under the the difficult situations. I mean, under the difficult situations, you have to to remain cool. Don't. Uh, let players maybe during the time out when they come to you to say and you start to say oh we will lose and no no must be very calm and talk to with them that next point is very important we will win uh, we you have to 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 be in a good spirit we have to win uh, go together work together and so on. overcome critical points uh, this is very important sometimes some critical points. And uh, you have to, to think about it, how to overcome, how to, to, to win the, 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 these situations and these points. Uh, uh, help your players by uh, uh, a good uh, actions, like uh, uh, a good player come to the court to help, or uh, a good time out in, in the right time, or anything else can help the team. How prepare substitutions already in training? You have to do that. 
about this discussion uh, in training before the match and to to work with your team uh, 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 about that and to to help them to to have a good uh, uh, i mean action during the match give new player clear instruction what to do every time when you uh, take the decision to put one of the new players from outside to the court you have to explain to him uh, what he is going to do also by the way he you prepare him uh, already in the, in the training session but you have to remind him about his role and to give him the the the, the chance to enter the court and to do the role substitute not too late this is very important because uh, if you substitute uh, late you will lose everything and some coaches doing that when they would like to give uh, like some uh, signs for the officials that they are they did uh, 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 the maximum but uh, the, the, the problem was not them and then i don't respect them because they are not good leaders uh, and not, i i advise you uh, uh, sub substitute uh, must be not too late and when everything is ready already lost bring young in uh, experience a mental weak player or uh, deciding moments give them a chance at the beginning don't put them in the difficult moments and they are still young not have uh, they don't have experience then try to put them in the beginning and to support them and don't do don't put a lot of players uh, 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 young players with no experience together in the beginning i mean you must put some of them uh, uh, with experience to support the others i mean in you can choose, change one or two players maximum don't ask uh, don't risk uh, to lose momentum or to destroy the the team winning uh, win is, is the team winning okay because very important that if the team winning don't stop them don't uh, change uh, uh, let them win and to arrive to the objective if you want to change uh, i mean you have to to make the the right time and the right decisions uh, during your coaching intervals between sets prepare new lineup and instructions before break Announce lineup for next set. Give new or repeat uh, previous instructions. Show confidence and winning attitude. Then uh, I will finish, and Ma'am will give a, a short brief if we, if we have time. Uh, match records and statistics uh, for what and how and when and who and what. Of course, data and information for actual coaching, data and information for evaluation after the match. We will talk about that uh, for uh, in the the, the 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 last part because we have some questions about that. Data for information for mass media. How statistical uh, match record? Very important to have like a, a, a very near match for for the opponent. To, to make uh, good stat uh, statistics and good evaluation. Uh, graphic evaluation, very important to use the graphics and, and uh, information to show uh, players uh, the information. Video records, also very important because the visual records uh, will help a lot when the team uh, uh, watch the other team, the, the opponent team. Uh, in a good way with a, uh, I will show you today uh, some uh, uh, examples. Pre-observation uh, backed up by notes. This is very important also uh, that uh, you give them a free observation uh, with a, a, a special notes. We can do that now on the WhatsApp uh, groups. Uh, we send players uh, like movies and some instructions uh, one day before, one night before, then they prepare themselves uh, for free observation and then they will come in a, in a, in, in a good uh, concentration who a statistician also is responsible uh, in the beginning under your uh, leadership assistant coach if you don't have a statistician 
and reserve uh, players. Sometimes you can use them or staff members, uh, but according to your uh, uh, meeting plans. Other ex experts, video, computers, and others. Coach, if nobody else is available or uh, competent, because in Africa, I think the coach is doing everything. What own team performance, uh, efficiency of rotations, skills, tactics, and etc. Players' performance, uh, roles, tasks, skill efficiency, tax behavior, uh, open uh, open performance. Much evaluation. We have to 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 make the team meeting just after the match. Uh, but I don't like the, the team meeting after the match, but I put it here to say that we are able to do that, but when we have uh, something to, to, I mean, to, to contain the team after uh, 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 losing one match, to give them some supportive message, uh, or to, if the team is very happy because we win one important match, we have to stop that, to think about the next day. I mean, this team meeting, if we are, if it is very important, we have to make it, but in a very short time, I mean, five, 10 minutes maximum, and in a very, very uh, uh, positive uh, side or positive way, no uh, negative, no, uh, uh, I mean, nervous or no uh, uh, telling players anything about the, the, the information, the tactical information, or just to make a short meeting to help them to continue the competition or to prepare them for the next day. And instructions uh, from the bench, very important that you have to organize who is able to give instructions, not everybody, because in some teams in Africa, maybe the president of federation uh, uh, standing behind the team and also uh, the physiotherapy is giving instructions and the doctor is giving the instructions. And you are allowed to, to give responsibility and uh, to say who is able to talk and what is uh, he will do. Timeouts is very important also. Uh, the team meeting just after the match, we talk about that. And instruction uh, from the bench, we talk about that. Timeouts, when, how, what, when a uh, team lose momentum or rhythm, gets confused or uh, desperate. Also team uh, or particular player lose uh, moral, fighting spirit, confidence, uh, opponent gains uh, a cluster of points, a critical phase of set. Uh, opponent is leading by two or more points, especially in the, the last set, the fifth set. If the, the, the other team start to move one or two points over your team, you have to stop the, the, the set by any actions, maybe timeout or change one player or to stop the, the, and take the, the momentum again. Uh, 10, 11, or 13, opponent win uh, first 14 points. Team or particular players are looking tired or uh, disciplined. How coach, assistant, or assistant coach take notes during the match and prepares instructions for timeouts. Uh, uh, coach address team for general and particular players for individual instructions. Coach should, should behave cool, positive, optimistic. Teams use a preferred ritual for timeouts. All players must listen to instructions of the coach. Coach may ask team captain in case of doubts or problems. What? Give short, precise instructions focus on key points, tell what and or how to do that, adapt or organize when preferred tactics does not work well, eliminate confusion or uh, uh, desperation, try to strengthen moral, fighting spirit, confidence, and then the substitution will be when See timeouts, why, when particular players perform or behave wrong, 
you have to, to, to make the substitution. Prepared tactics is not working well. You have to put some players to change uh, your tactics. Why to strength lineup or a certain position to bring in a specialist for attack, for defense, for fighting, etc. To replace player of poor performance or behavior to improve match up with particular opponent player or rotation. To import, reinforce morale and spirit, to change momentum or to eliminate confusion. Then when we work hard, we have to be also proud about our working hard, and then we will achieve, like we see here, after the, the big achievements, and we will be happy that we achieve and some of our players will 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 stand on the podium uh, as a best servers or a best skill and we win a very important matches when we uh, like egypt when we uh, i lead them when we uh, beat cuba in the, in the last olympic games and uh, we will feel very happy and uh, uh, and we feel that we achieve and i think we arrive to the end uh, please, ma'am, if you can make a short in three minutes, just some remarks, and then we will go for the uh, question and answers. Ma'am? Oh, okay. Uh, activity. Okay. Uh, Ma'am. Uh, yes. I, I think you have a a, a problem in in uh, in in uh, com uh, com uh, uh, communication. I mean, uh, communication problem. I mean, the the network is not working good. Ma'am? Hello? Ma'am? Yes. Can we, can we start, ma'am, with, with the questions? Okay, because I think you have a problem in, in, uh, in the connection, the network. Okay, okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. I'm not able to, to listen to you very good. Okay. Okay, uh, guys, I think we can start uh, the, 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 section, the section of uh, uh, question and answers. And we will, we have here uh, one, one question from uh, Shadrach. Uh, he is asking, and I will give him the floor to 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 ask the question. Okay, Tarek, please. Tarek, ayo. ممكن تفتح ال ال في واحد اسمه شادرك عشان يبدأ يرد على السؤال. يقول السؤال ونرد عليه طارق ايوه مايك 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 مين اسمه شادراك ادخل على الـ على الـ على الكويشن اند انسر هتلاقي اسمه اول واحد ذا كويشن اوف شادراك از هاو دو يو فايند ا بالانس ان كي ايلمنتس of a game at training. Okay, Captain Sharif, why yeah, he's asking can talk now. Shadrach, can you listen to me, please? Like, uh, uh, I can hear you, Sharif. Okay, please. We are listening okay. to you. Welcome, welcome hi, hi. And I need your, your question, please. Okay, hi, everyone. 
Um, I think my question was just to ask um, how to how do we really maintain or the, how do we really, uh, keep the key elements of the the game? You know, during training, you'll find that maybe as a coach, I prefer to or I like. Let me say, maybe I like reception more than attack. How do I really balance? Because uh, I, I think you cannot maybe just say, no, I have 10 minutes, 10 minutes for each and every skill. But how do you really, uh, at the end of the day, say, no, I, during these training sessions, I am satisfied, or before the competition, I'm satisfied that I have given enough time for all the key elements of the game. Okay, uh, first of all, uh, I, I, I would like to thank you about the short question because it's uh, short but very important. Uh, I, uh, my my uh, answer is you have to put your plan according to uh, your objectives. Uh, and inside your objectives, also the objective of the skill and the, the, the relation between the skill and how to make this combination. And also you have to be very, uh, I mean, uh, very uh, dynamic. Maybe you will change sometimes a little bit. Uh, you have to be also uh, uh, very focused about uh, the objective. Then my advice is to work also in uh, a game-like situations, then you will be sure that every all uh, skills will you will use all skills and also all players. And inside the the, the game like you have to put in the beginning um, like a key uh, 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 factors and the key uh, of the each game like. Then you will uh, put uh, through the key your objective and how to use the skills uh, for your place. Like, if you would like to, to, to give more uh, uh, time or more concentration about servers, you can do that and you put you, the, the servers, one of the servers uh, always in the game like in the, uh, on the serve and he will more work during the, 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 the on the, your objective serve. Then, you can do that in all uh, skills, and I prefer always to work in a game line, in a game situations. Okay. Next question, please. We have Sami Molengi. Uh, please, Sami. Okay. Okay, he can talk. Yes, please. Yeah, you Sammy? can hear, Mister Sheriff. You can hear me. Yes. Yes. Yes, hello, Sammy. How are you? Fine, thank you. Assalamu alaikum. So alaikum. my question was very simple. I wanted to know uh, what are some of the ways should I use as a coach to create a winning philosophy? First of all, Sammy, sorry to disturb you. Uh, uh, Mayam, please, could you please uh, translate the previous uh, question and my my uh, uh, answer? Sorry, sorry, Sammy. We have to, to finish okay, the first question. No problem. Question, no right? problem. Sharif, ma tefil shira, Captain Sharif. Okay, please. Ma'am? Ma'am? Okay, Sami, please. Uh, go, Sami, please. Okay, sorry for losing my arm. So my question was uh, very simple. What are some of the ways should I use as a coach to create a winning philosophy to my team during the match, especially uh, when we are in a crucial points like 22-22, you find maybe some of the players uh, the panic, especially when ex executing uh, very crucial uh, skills like uh, service, uh, maybe setting, maybe reception, 
these are my worries. What are some of the things you can uh, create as a winning philosophy to, to the okay. players? Uh, I think uh, I, I have a very short uh, 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 reply that you have uh, a very uh, like important tool by using the scoring system. Use the score. The score is the heart, the, the magic uh, tool to help your players to work, uh, uh, I mean, for the, the, to create the winning philosophy. Uh, you said 22, 22. I think sometimes you can do that uh, for, for the difficult moments, that 22, 22, and give your team, uh, if they win the point, one point, and the other team, when he win the point, two two points. Then every time they they will, I mean, kill themselves to win and non don't lose any points. On the other side, you can use some uh, drills during the training session. I think you uh, you listened to to the idea before in Kenya in the high performance that you choose twenty balls and you make three balls and you write three points on each ball and you lose you you use another three balls from the 20, and you put two, two points, then when you uh, show that the ball and show, show them that you have, if you win this ball, you will win three points. They, each uh, uh, player and the two teams you, in the practice will kill each other to win the three points. I mean, you are able to, to make this philosophy through the, the scoring system. Thank you, Sam. The next, sorry everybody, we, we don't have the, tr the translation in, in French because uh, I think we have some problems in, uh, uh, in, the, in, in the internet uh, connection and he, we lost him and sorry for that, we will continue till we find him. Yes, sir. The next question will be Yusuf uh, Grunwell. Yusuf, please. Okay. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, please, Yusuf. Yes, I thank you very much. Um, now, my simple is very, uh, very basic. Um, what do you uh, personally, Sheriff? Um, you know, I know different coaches do different things with the players to relax before, uh, to be as relaxed as possible for a game, especially a big game. What do you do as a personal coach um, to get your players to be as relaxed as possible, you know, before a big match? <laughs> okay, uh, thank you for the good question. I think I prefer to have uh, like a uh, uh, like a mental uh, uh, expert to work with you, or if you don't have, you have to ask because they have um, like a magic ways to 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 do that. Uh, but from our experience, we can use some things like we go to one. Uh, um, like a film in the cinema, or uh, we play uh, cards uh, together and we start to joke and remember uh, some important things. But by the way, uh, in 2001, in the World Championship, when I was leading the Egyptian team and we won the fourth place, uh, I had uh, uh, a very good experience and a very bad experience. A very good experience that uh, before uh, the, the competition, uh, at this moment we don't have this uh, uh, like opportunity to have a mental preparator with us. But on the other side, I did that by myself. I find I found a, a, a good uh, expert, and I had like a, a good relation. And I I give her. She was a doctor, a psychological doctor, and I give her her all information about the team and she advised me for each detail i mean i was talking about the, the important players and she uh, i was acting with her and then i come back to my players and give them uh, uh, the advices and uh, and how to to deal with them by the way sometimes uh, the, the other uh, bad uh, uh, bad one was i decided to to to, to let them before one big match to to go or, or to, to to go to the cinema and unfortunately <laughs> they, they, they went for a very 
uh, uh, I mean, dramatic film. <laughs> and they were, uh, uh, at the end, one of the, the, the heroes died, and some of them were, uh, I mean, crying. That's why we, I was a young coach. Now I will be very, very uh, uh, careful when I choose the film and give them the opportunity to, to attend. Uh, thank you. Thank Yusuf, you. We can thank go you. for the next. Uh, Catherine, our FFB instructor, and our, uh, I mean, the new important uh, instructor in, in Africa, the first uh, woman instructor, FFB instructor. Welcome, yes. Catherine. Welcome, sister. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, yes go. Uh, what would be the primary criteria for player selection, uh, especially in the national team? Okay. Uh, okay. The, the primary criteria would be, from my point of view, according yes. to your uh, objectives, and also the competition, the, the, the level of competition, uh, and also uh, according to the what, what what kind of players you have. I mean, uh, when you uh, have a competition uh, in Africa and uh, uh, you will compete in the zone, I mean, the zone will be will not be the same uh, difficult like the the main competition. Then you can put some. Uh, young players or unexperienced players to get uh, a, a good, I mean, experience during this uh, period. And if you will go for African competition with your team, yeah. I think you will choose uh, the, uh, the good players for the African competition, which have uh, experience to, to play under the, the conditions of Africa uh, and to compete with the, the strong teams in Africa because the competition is different from the, the, the world level. If you will play in the world level, I mean, you will compete in the, the, the world championship or the, the, the world cup, you have to, to choose uh, the, the, the players who is able to play under this level. On the other side, sometimes the objectives is to build a new team to play on the, the, the top level of the international level. By the way, I, I remember very well. When the golden team, Salah and Abdullah and uh, others, when Federation uh, uh, decided, and Dr. Wani was the president in 2004, when they decided to change the team, uh, uh, taking before the, the, a big uh, competition like Mediterranean Games. And I believe during the, this competition, with some experienced players like uh, uh, Hamdi Sabi, they won the golden medal. I mean, the objective, the objective, the objective was to, to let them participate and to believe uh, that they are able to, to play good in the, the, the level of, uh, uh, I mean, uh, Mediterranean games. But during the competition, they start to uh, perform very well and they won the golden medal and they beat Spain at the, the final. And it was, uh, I mean, a uh, very historical uh, moments for them. And they bore for the top level uh, and high level uh, competitions. Okay, the next question, please. Moses. Moses, my brother from Kenya. Moses. Yeah. Hello, brother. Can you hear me? Moses. Hello? Can you hear me, please? Please. Welcome first. Moses. Hello, Moses. Okay, I think he, he, he has to uh, unmute. Hello. 
it on mute, but the network, it is no good. Okay, Moses, please, can you hear me? Okay, the, the question of Moses is, is it necessary to repeat key elements such as service, passing, training, games, uh, physical and mental stimulation during the last training before the match? I think uh, it's right, we can do that, but in, I said, 70-80% from the, the load, and also uh, the key points, not, uh, I mean, to repeat everything, and the time must be, uh, uh, I mean, in a good way, smart, and, and I think maximum one hour to repeat and to, to be sure that everybody is, uh, uh, I mean, viewing uh, his uh, rules, okay? Uh, the next is Ata. Ata, please. Ahmed Samir, Ahmed Samir. Well, Ahmed Samir. Ahmed Samir, yes. Okay. He is one of our uh, uh, African instructors under training. Yes, please, Ahmed. Uh, hi, hi, everyone. Uh, I'm talking about uh, SERV. Uh, SERV um, is an, a very effective uh, weapon to score direct points. Uh, especially uh, spike serve. Uh, it's an individual skill performed by by a player uh, without interfere from the other players. So uh, how to improve it and uh, develop it? And the main is how to reduce its loss and make uh, make it more effective. Thank you, Captain Sharif. Okay. Uh, I think we can use uh, one or two slides to show you, uh, uh, I mean, to, to reply. Uh, can, you, can you show that now the, the, the presentation, please? Hello, guys. Can, can you see the, the presentation, the slide? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Uh, uh, we, we have to ask ourselves, is serving really that important? Yes, SERP is very important, and if you have a, a good SERP plan, and you, if you have a good service, you will have a very, uh, uh, I mean, huge uh, uh, opportunity to win the match or to win one competition. How important volleyball serving? Uh, the, the easiest way to knock a team out of reason is tough and effective serving. Then it's very important also, tough, effective serving uh, uh, can create free ball situations. Then also, it's very effective uh, offensive for us. And if your team is serving really well, they can frustrate even the best teams. Uh, like uh, any, uh, any team in Africa, when they are playing with the big teams, they, they can, I mean, uh, uh, do a lot of good things when they have a good service. Uh, also, uh, very important uh, that the court is divided up to zones, uh, practice serving accuracy by trying serve zones. Advanced players uh, don't use the term court zones, they, they know what you want and they, they perform after that. Players work to serve, move, or disturbing the opponent's offense. This should be done not by serving zones, but by making players, this is very important statement, please, making players move the way you want them to move, okay? Analyze how your opponent lines up in serving and receive. And we can make the, the, the court like this and uh, advise our players to, to, to make the, our uh, serving plan. Also, uh, volleyball uh, tactics for float, short, spot, uh, and jump serving. Each one of those, uh, uh, I mean, those uh, elements is very important when you are thinking to use it. To use it, volleyball strategies 
uh, you have to know your opponent, take your opponents out of system. Uh, best servers are well prepared. You have to prepare them very well. Uh, and you have to, to, to know your serving strategies uh, and to be the, the serving strategies must be apart from your game plan. And you must have every time, every match, a game plan and a serve plan. Your serve plan is your magic uh, tool to, 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 to control the momentum and to control the match. Very important also. to know the characteristics of great servers, like what we have here in Abdallah. The servers that have the most confidence are the ones that serve tough and aggressive. Uh, to be tough volleyball server, you should always focus on serving quality, making each serve reception, repetition, sorry, important. Each serve repetition is very important for everybody, especially for the server, while also focusing on the mental side of server. Also, we have to find the five mental keys to great server. The confidence and trust, focus, commitment, one serve at a time. Every time you have to give the confidence of your uh, of the confidence of uh, for your player, you have to trust him, especially in the training sessions. Then he will uh, perform well uh, at the end. You have also to to be uh, to, to 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 let him focus uh, on his objective, and also to find him and to to let him to be commitment uh, with with the team objective, and every time to talk with him one serve at a time. I mean, every serve is different from the next one. And if he lose one serve, please don't repeat to him, you lost uh, the last serve. You lost the last three serves. No, no, think about one serve at a time. At the end, you will have a good uh, server and good serving, uh, I mean, during the, the competition. Also, by the way, I think, uh, uh, if you uh, understand that now on the top level uh, volleyball, we have a, a very fast server. Uh, by the way, last uh, World Cup, Nishida from Japan, the speed of the sword was, he achieved the uh, speed of the sword is 138 kilometers per hour. I mean, you, you have to, uh, to, I mean, to think about that you are receiving and one car or one woman, one bull coming towards you uh, uh, and the speed is 138. Even the floating surf, now they are improving a lot the speed of the, the floating surf to arrive to 60 to 70 uh, kilometers per surf. Okay, thank you. The next question, please. Ata? Hello? Yes, Ata, Hello. please. Go. Yes, Coach, my question, uh, what do we do in the final uh, session? I mean, in final practice, just before the important match? And also, uh, if it's, it's uh, preferable to, to use loads or not? Uh, it's a little bit com complicated because, okay, I don't like to talk about loads now, but let's talk about the first part. Uh, I hope that the, that the last part of the training, of the practice must be very positive. I mean, that uh, the, the atmosphere of uh, communication between you and the player or the coach and the players must be very positive, uh, a, a winning atmosphere. And we have to, to, to think about winning atmosphere very much. And we have to, to be very careful also uh, at the last 10, 15 minutes because the experience uh, uh, told us that in the last 10 and 15 minutes, players start to lose, uh, uh, I mean, uh, concentration. And then 
when they lose concentration, they the opportunity of uh, of having injury is, is is increasing. That's why we must be very careful about loads. I think we have to be. I mean, as we spoke before, that uh, uh, before the matches, we have to be very careful about loads to to make the, to to be to to prepare the player for the next match to to give the maximum uh, efforts uh, the next match. Thank you, Ata. The next question, please. Thank you, coach. Thank you. Rafi. Rafi. No. Rafi Asfour. Mr. Asfour. Thank you. Uh, thank you for this uh, information. Uh, a question how to motivate player after losing a game before the next game? And when we have a next game, and we lose before this uh, game. How I can uh, motivate my team after this losing game? Okay, thank you very much. I think uh, uh, it's a very important question, but it's also uh, belong to the, the the mental preparation. And if you have with you, of course, according to the, your experience also, you can help. But if you have uh, one expert for mental, it will be better. But on the other side, uh, you will do as a coach or as a head coach uh, this kind of uh, raise your face up and we we will continue and uh, your uh, psychological support is very important you have to remind everybody that uh, this is not the end we have to continue we have to keep winning sometimes uh, if we lose i think we will uh, have the opportunity to work for the next uh, start to be very positive uh, with uh, uh, and supportive after the match uh, and uh, give them uh, the, the, the face of, of confidence that you believe that they will uh, uh, they will continue and winning the, the next but please don't be uh, I mean uh, over uh, I mean don't give them overdose I mean don't talk very much on the side of blaming them or the side of supporting them. I mean, you have to be very balanced. And I think we must choose the best time to give them uh, information. By the way, I have also one uh, experience with the youth team. Uh, and after we lost in the, the qualification uh, uh, round from Poland in 2001 in the World Championship, after the match, uh, I didn't find all the team in the in, in the in the hotel uh, because before the competition we played a very strong match with Poland in Poland and we lost two three and the referee was the reason uh, and uh, players during this period they don't have experience good experience and they believe that okay we can win in our home uh, court and 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 they play very bad and we lost the match. And I collect them, I start to open the discussion with them, I support them, and next match, next day, we, we beat Argentina and we qualify for the, the next round. I mean, uh, it's very important that you have the experience. On the other side also, if you find that your team uh, won uh, important match and after the match, you will have the final or a very important match, you have to, to stop them from uh, I mean, you let them uh, feeling happy for a short period, and then you have to stop them and to let them thinking about think about the, the next match, the next important match. Sometimes I make uh, like uh, 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 bad actions. I mean, shouting for players when we have we won the, the, the important match uh, to to make them uh, return to the normal. Uh, uh, I mean, level of thinking about the ne next match w without uh, uh, over expectation about having uh, more than uh, normal. That's why I mean, it's like that. And we can take the next uh, question, please, from Paul Bitouk, uh, one of our legend in, in uh, coaches in, in Africa. Uh, okay. My brother Paul, welcome. And he's also uh, Af uh, uh, African instructor. 
Yes, Paul. Paul. Paul, I, I am. You can hear me. Yes, yes, Paul. Tell me, please. Uh, thank you so much for the good work. My question is, uh, during your presentation, you have shown that the coach can be included in the budgeting of the team. And uh, I want to know uh, why should we have the coach, uh, not, uh, not only management of the team. Second question is that uh, more so we are always with the national team and we find sometimes uh, politics comes, coming in uh, maybe officials uh, uh, trying to influence the national team to have some players in the team or uh, clubs uh, members also fighting for their team. How can we handle this? Okay, the first question about the, uh, the, the budget. Yes, sure, you are, uh, if you are a day coach, you have to control the budget of the team, not to, to prepare the budget of the team. I mean, you have to discuss uh, the budget you need, you have to be very, I mean, uh, uh, serious because if you don't have the budget, you will lose your work and you will lose your team. And if you let any uh, unexperienced uh, official or, uh, uh, I don't like to talk about officials uh, bad, but, but I mean, if you let any, uh, uh, any, uh, uh, I mean, uh, action happen in a negative way you will lose you will lose your uh, your your uh, your work then you have to, to control very well and very serious all details you are the head coach i mean the heart of the organization and they have to listen to you I, i'm not talking about the the less uh, budget I, i'm thinking i'm talking about the budget in overall less budget you have to change your uh, your uh, i mean plan to, to think about the next, uh, how to, to, to solve the problems and so on. <clears throat> okay, this is the first question. The second is very, uh, uh, is very, very uh, easy. You are the leader and you have to stop everybody for disturbing or making influence uh, negative for the team. Uh, you have to keep your team uh, focusing for the object. And you have to be clear with everybody without no, uh, without any, uh, I mean, uh, 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 feeling they have to, to be other, you have to understand that you are the responsible person, you have to, to give your players uh, the, the, the good atmosphere to, to win the match. By the way, I know that this problem in Africa is very difficult because all uh, officials would like to talk, would like to keep on uh, supporting their uh, their players in the clubs, uh, in the teams, and so on. But uh, when they are your, your team is playing under the, the flag of Kenya, all of them are players of Kenya. And they, you have to keep them thinking, I'm, I'm focusing for the, the, the object. Okay, next question, please. Who's next? Alfred Silenga, our uh, African instructor. Yes, yes. please. Alfred, welcome. Go, please. Alfred. Alfred, do you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Go, go, please. Fast. We yeah. have only around nine minutes. Thank you, sir, for good presentation. My, I have two questions. My first question is, uh, it's about uh, food and drinks. I know it's good for for players. What do you recommend as a food and uh, when to be taken and what type of food before the match and uh, during and uh, after the match? Okay, let's, let's talk about food. Uh, I, I prefer that we have uh, a good uh, expert for nutrition and also the, the, someone responsible for food. But uh, I think the carbohydrate uh, is the, the, one of the, the most important food before the match. And I think... Um, you, you, we have to, to, to choose uh, or, or to make like a proper uh, uh, period. I mean, two hours, three hours before the match will be good. And also for, for uh, drinks, I think you have to, to think about uh, mineral waters and, uh, and to help them for that. 
but I prefer always to refer back to the experts, okay? The next question, please. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I just want to know what time, what age uh, do you recommend to start specializing young players, like uh, to become uh, specific in uh, position players, like uh, opposite player, liberal, etc., okay. etc. No, I understand. Uh, uh, I will. I, I prefer that to let players till the age of 13, 14 years, without any. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, or, or without choosing them to be specialists in, in one position. <clears throat> and after 15 years, I think you are able to do that for some players or the, the most of players. Uh, by the way, I would like to tell you one secret, that Abdallah, the, the, one of the best setters in Africa and in our uh, history in Egypt, he was uh, uh, the, the, the spiker, and Salah, uh, the best, uh, one of the best players all over the world, uh, the, the best attacker, the best opposite, was his setter. Then, till 15 years, 16 years, Salah was the setter, and Abdullah was the spike. And after that, uh, they start to change and uh, grow up as the best setter and the best uh, spike. Also, by the way, Ahmed Kot from Ali Club. He's now uh, one of the important opposites in, in Africa. He was the setter till 16 years old, 17 years old. He was the setter of our youth national team in World Championship, the second set. And from that moment, uh, we, they changed him to be the spiker from after 17. I mean, that's why we have to, to be careful when we are doing that. The next is, uh, thank you very much, uh, Alfred. Uh, I think uh, Shadrach, you already uh, asked one question before. We go for the next question. Uh, Shiro, Shimo. Hello. Just a uh, second, hello. just a second, just a second. No, Abdullah. Okay. Okay. No, Shirno. Hello. Hello. I didn't yes. understand the question, Abdurrahman. Hello, sir. Hello, how are you? I mean, I didn't understand the question, please. Okay, my concern is um, mostly when going for international competitions, you will find that um, the teams that you play with are usually sometimes stronger and faster. So how do you pre prepare for such teams before the competition and what tactics can you use during the match to counter such teams? Okay, uh, I, I got it now. I think it's very difficult. Uh, we have a, a lot of difficulties in Africa because we don't have uh, strong uh, uh, competitions. I mean, I mean, national strong competitions. And sometimes some countries have a very short uh, competition. You have to put in your mind if you would like to compete on the, on the, on the high level, you have to think about that you, you must have at least from 40 to 60 uh, strong matches during the year. Uh, uh, I think even in, in, in the strong competitions in Egypt or Tunisia or Algeria or, uh, or sometimes in other countries in Africa, we don't have this number. We have only uh, like two, three, uh, ten maximum uh, uh, strong matches. That's why we need always uh, to have to make or to organize camps to play uh, uh, at least 20 matches before any strong competition or top level competitions. Uh, then we, we, it's a very difficult. I know it needs uh, a lot of money, but it's the only way. Or the other way is to send players to play abroad and to find them ready for the, the speed and the strong uh, playing. Uh, and I think it, it's uh, another way of, of, of doing that. The last question, please. We can go for uh, the chat. I think they, they will uh, also put a lot of questions. Now, Sami uh, Khalas, Tolani, please, Tolani. Who's? 
טולני עם הפוזה? טולני? Do you provide statistics uh, overview during timeouts of after or after uh, end of each set to the team or individual players? Uh, I think we can do both. We can use the, the statistics uh, during the, the timeouts or after the, the, the set. Sometimes we can, uh, uh, I mean, show uh, players also some uh, videos for the action. Uh, now you can see that all coaches have uh, a tablet with them and they are using uh, during the, the, the timeouts or the interval uh, times and they are, they are, they are showing uh, players uh, uh, some, I mean, uh, actions to, to let them uh, realize what they need from them. Like uh, when one action, when the, the, receive, the reception is on the three meter and they set the ball, and what the, 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 the attacker did on this action, and uh, there is no covering or something like this, okay? Uh, then, guys, I think we, we, we finished now. I think we can continue. Can Tariq, if you can continue the conversation after the live, or is it not possible? Do we have time or not? Tariq? Tariq? هو الوقت كده خلاص الساعة 10 أنا حاطط هينفع تاخد 10 دقايق لو في أسئلة تانية حاطط خمس ماشي أوكي ماشي طب استغلنا من اللايف دلوقتي وعشان يبقى خلصنا أي وود لايك دكتور عنواني معانا ولا لأ؟ دكتور عمرو مش مش هيخش يختم لا لا خلاص أوكي أقفل اللايف أه أقفل اللايف برضه أول بس أنا أختم بس إيفريبادي ثانك يو فيري ماتش فور إيفريثينج I think, uh, uh, I hope uh, you enjoy the, the, the presentation. I'm sorry that ma'am uh, lost the connection uh, during the, uh, the middle of, uh, of the presentation. Ma'am with us now, but I think he had some problems in communicating uh, the, the, the presentation. Uh, I need to thank you very much for your uh, questions, and I hope that you enjoy the presentation and keep on uh, waiting for the next presentation uh, and next uh, uh, webinar will be a, a big surprise, as always, as we, we are every time uh, uh, working to move on developing, development in, uh, in volleyball in Africa. Thank you very much. And I need you, after we finish the live, uh, to continue to, uh, I mean, to answer your questions, the remaining questions. Thank you. Sorry, I'll smash the live bell. وقف تسجيل ولا؟ لا ساكمل تسجيل مفيش مشكلة. اوكي. اوكي تولاني اي ثينك اي ديدنت فايند يو بات اول ريسبكت فور يور كويستشن. ذا نيكست كويستشن ويل بي فروم اي ثينك وي وي فينيشد هير. ان جو فور كويستشن اند انسر. ناو شادر اديله الميكروفون تاني شادر. ثواني بس. Okay. Chadra. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah, uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. Uh, I, I, my question now is that, um, Sheriff, what do you, what do you tell a, a, a young, inexperienced player who have served maybe and covered the opponent score from maybe 12, 12 uh, down, they were down from 12 to 14, and she's now serving for the game point at 15-14? What can you say to that player? First of all, uh, we have two parts. Uh, one part before the match, we have to think about uh, those players. We have to prepare them to, uh, to perform when they have the same, uh, uh, the, the same action. Then, during the match, during the training session, we have to think about the game like, and we have to put uh, the key factors like this. I mean, the same uh, uh, ideas, 20, 12, 12, 14, and when they have the Arab to 15, 14, what they are going to do. We have to, to make some, uh, uh, some actions, like uh, some ideas for the drills, that we, one of the, the ideas, it, it's changing, uh, I mean, uh, changing the scoreboard. I mean, 
uh, you you put the rule that you make the drill. Uh, when you have the rule, you have the, the 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 I mean the responsibility or the the decision as a coach to change uh, the 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 score. And, uh, changing the score, maybe you will start by eight. Uh, 10 and when you arrive to 14 9 you will ask uh, the two uh, teams in your team to change the score then team a will start by 8 team b will be 10 and when arrive to 14 9 team a is 9 team b is 14 you change the score then the challenge will happen the team uh, uh, b after they win till 14, they have to challenge to return back and to stand up and to win again and to keep on winning uh, the, the, the points and to continue that. Maybe also you will change the, the score again in another uh, action. But I mean, this is the before the match. During the match, also before the match, you have to give uh, the confidence of your players and during the match you have to give the confidence of your players and to give them uh, also some uh, supportive information to 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 tell them in a good way first of all to give them the confidence that you believe that they will change and return uh, and you have to give them to support them with some tactical points to 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 solve the problem uh, especially when they are not they don't have experience okay and maybe you can help them by uh, make a, a better replay, re, 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 uh, mean, uh, 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 substitution or to, to move them a little bit uh, in the courts to, 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 to make the, the better and the best rotation for the next action. Okay, the next question, please. There is no, no fish. Let's say uh, listen. Uh, Moses from Kenya. Uh, not nothing. Okay, okay, guys. I think uh, everything was uh, was good, and also I would like to thank everybody. I would like to thank ma'am. Ma'am, are you with us? Still with us? I don't. I don't know. Uh, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. You. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Thank you very much. Thanks. Okay, uh, ma'am. I would like to thank you, and also I'm waiting for. Uh, I mean, maybe after two, three webinars, we will do the same with you in French. And yes, will, uh, one, but you have to, to be sure about the, co uh, the, the connection, please. The, con the uh, connection, yes. Yes. Because okay. the rain is in here, and uh, uh, with uh, the rain, the connection is, uh, is good. That's why I feel that uh, some water comes from the, the screen of the, the laptop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, my brother. Okay, thank you. And please, uh, I need your uh, your last uh, words before we close the, the 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 meeting. Okay. Tell us your last words. Uh, we we are thanking you for your efforts, and please tell the the, the audience and also the coaches uh, uh, words before we close. Please, your words. Uh, oui, euh, j'ai eu un petit problème tout à l'heure de connexion. Nous savons qu'actuellement en Afrique centrale, c'est une saison de, de pluie. Euh, cette connexion a fait que nous avons raté quelques, quelques éléments. Il faudrait dire merci à Sheriff, il faudrait dire merci à tout le staff de la, de la Confédération africaine de volleyball qui nous aide justement à trouver de bons réseaux pour l'évolution de notre volleyball. Merci à tout le monde. Merci à tous ceux qui ont choisi d'être avec nous. Et nous English, avons... English. <laughs> OK. Thank you very much. The, the, the... OK, ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. And waiting for you for the next webinar. OK? Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you Dr. Erwani. Thank you, Mohamed Ben Hameda. Uh, I hope everything will be uh, in the next webinar very successful. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.